okay, is it time for us to talk about Tesla using engineering samples in their cars? Uh, sure. Why Can not? I just say, I don't want this to be political. Why okay. <laughs> okay. I don't consider it to be political uh. to say that using an engineering sample chip in a finished product, an engineering sample chip that has not yet passed necessary FCC certification <laughs> and shipping that to paying customers. Well, I'm, I'm right wing, so I'm not mad. But I'm left wing, so I'm mad. No, no, it's just bad. It, it doesn't matter. It's just bad. Um, according to Green the Only on Twitter, Tesla has been shipping engineering sample modem chips in all units of the Model S Plaid, Model 3s, and Model Ys. This means that Tesla allegedly could be using hardware in their cars that has not yet been verified by the FCC. Apparently, the Quectel AG525R-GL was approved by the FCC in October of 2020, but all of the cars that Green the Only has checked have the ES declaration, an engineering sample marking uh, on the spreader. Uh, it is possible that Tesla has been leaning on ES chips to alleviate some of the pressure of the chip shortage. There are questions of whether ES chips are ready to stand up to regular use. If they are not, Tesla might have to recall thousands of cars, including those sold in China. Although this will only be a thing if the government ultimately looks into it. Oh, man. It says, it says all it's the also, cars that Green the Only has checked. How many cars has he checked? Uh, presumably more than two, because otherwise it would be both. Right. It's also possible that these chips were made before October 2020, so they just had to be labeled engineering sample, but now they're totally fine to use in production. That is actually possible. Alternately, alternatively they might be using chips that are marked ES and aren't FCC compliant. But since Tesla doesn't answer questions, I'm not really expecting them to say <laughs> anything about this. Fair enough. Oh, man. I mean, you know what? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna present I'm gonna present a devil's advocate argument here. Uh, there are also allegedly um, large companies going out and buying consumer electronics, both new and used, so that they can scavenge them for chips, including things like uh, washing machines and dryers. So, is it? Is it ethical? Is it is it should it be legal to sell an end user a supposedly new product that contains a chip that you like melted down a dishwasher and desoldered the thing and put it in that? That doesn't. I mean, sound, clearly, I, desperate times, I desperate times, desperate that. measures, right? That doesn't sound very uh, viable. I I didn't dive into that article very deeply, but yeah, I um. This one's interesting to me because, like it was mentioned, like if this is manufactured in the exact same way as the release version, uh, I mean, right now during a chip shortage, I would personally kind of rather that they were used. Like if it's if it's the exact same thing, but like you said, they were just manufactured early before they were approved. I'd rather they were actually used than just like thrown away. Um, and if it's the exact same thing, just one has text that says engineering sample on it and one doesn't, then... Why do I care? It's a bit of a concerning path to go down because people can just claim that it's the same, even though it's not. Yep. Um, sure could. But, I mean, if they're not doing that, then I don't really have a problem with it, personally. I mean, it's not like we've never rolled an engineering sample chip in production hardware. The difference is that we knew it was there. We put it there. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Seeker Lab for sponsoring this week's clips. Secret Lab chairs are engineered to keep you comfy, and with up to five years of warranty and a 49-day return policy, you're covered if anything goes wrong. Head to the link in the description to get your Secret Lab chair today.